Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to learn how to use Avia microcontroller and how we can program it. The microcontroller we're gonna use in this tutorial is gonna be at Mega 8. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well, subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. So this is the microcontroller chip. It is in a 28 pin dip package, means it has equal pins onto its both sides and those pins are in line to each other. So it has 14 pins to each of its two sides. Let's have a closer look at its pins. Its pin number 1 is the reset pin and its pin number 7 and 20 are the VCC pins and its pin number 8 and 22 are ground pins. Its pin number 21 is the analog reference pin and its pin number 9 and 10 are external clock pins and all the remaining pins are its IO pins. Let's do the basic connections of this microcontroller. First I'm gonna connect its pin number 7 and 20 to positive supply. After that I'm gonna connect its pin number 8 and 22 to ground. After that I'm gonna connect a 12 MHz crystal to its pin number 9 and 10. After that, I'm gonna connect a 33 picofarad capacitor to its pin number 9 and ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 33 picofarad capacitor to its pin number 10 and ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor to its pin number 1 and positive supply. Now our basic connections are completed. Let's connect the programmer to the microcontroller according to this diagram. I'm gonna use this USB ISP programmer. So we have connected the programmer to the microcontroller. Let's connect it to the computer. In order to program the microcontroller, we need to write a program for the microcontroller. The software I'm gonna use to write the program is micro C for AVR. So I have started the software. First go to file menu, then go to new and select new project. Now write the name of the project and select the location where you want to save your project. Now select your device which is in our case is at Mega 8. So we select at Mega 8. Now we need to select the clock of microcontroller. We have used 12 megahertz crystal. So we are gonna select 12 megahertz. The program I'm gonna write is an LED blinking program. So I'm gonna connect an LED to pin number 14 of the microcontroller. The name of pin number 14 of microcontroller is B0 which is the first pin of the port B of microcontroller. So first we need to set the port B as output port. For that we need to put the value 0xff into the DDRB register which is a data direction register. Now we need to create an infinite loop in which we write the main program. So first we write while and a 1 in the parentheses. After that I'm gonna write curly braces. So first we need to turn on the LED 
for that we're gonna write port b0 underscore bit is equals to 1 now we're gonna need a delay for that we're gonna write delay underscore ms and a thousand in the parentheses now we need to turn off the pin b0 for that we're gonna write port b0 underscore bit is equals to 0 now we put another delay now we need to create hex files of the program for that i'm gonna click on build all option which will create the hex files of the program now we need to burn our program into the microcontroller for that we're gonna need a burning software the software i'm gonna use is prog isp first we need to select our device so i'm gonna select at mega 8 now go to load and open the hex file we created now we need to erase the flash memory of microcontroller. Now we need to select the option write flash to write the program into the microcontroller. So our program is burned into the microcontroller and you can see the LED is blinking. Let's write some other programs and burn them into the microcontroller and see the results.